Welcome back to Factory Sealed. It is September 13th, 2015. Enthusiasm. My God. My name's Eric Peterson. Joining me today is Dan Curtis. I I didn't give you the mystery this week. Oh, is that because I ruined your intro? You did. You made fun <laughs> of me last week because it sounded like death. <laughs> it did. Well, shit, I woke up super early, like three minutes before the show. It's just so, that be super so depressing. It'd be super early in the morning, but three minutes oh. before the show. So I was early in the morning, late for the show. Oh, yeah. We got Jess Clarkson back with us today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and back from his world travels, Mr. Tom Reagan. It's great to be back. Hi, Tom. Hello. Did you miss two <laughs> shows? I missed two shows. That's really bad. That is terrible. Oh. Back to back. I'm disappointed. I listened to your listened to the shows while I was away. That doesn't count as being part of it. Yeah, I was part of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's no more passive. <laughs> he was just sat on um, the sun lounger next to the pool this day at the show was with a sad face to go, I want to be there. Oh, yeah. I wish I could play Barbie supermodel with them. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh. I watched that video on the Sun Lounger. Yeah. You yeah, were on we vacation. Talk about your suckage. On a beach <laughs> in Africa. And you were... Tenerife. Is that not Africa? It's It's between Spain and Africa. It's more just an island near Spain. Who owns it? Spain. Who owns I, it? I do. <laughs> so why did you tell us? Like I, I don't know why Tenerife I'm still in the name of Curtis. I don't know why I'm still latching on to the whole Tom was in Africa thing. Probably because it sounds more exotic. Yeah, and the climate is kind of like more like Africa than Spain. But I do distinctly. Any lions? How the hell would a lion get out there, Dan? <laughs> Gotta live somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but how would they get to an island off the coast of Spain? They would Boat. swim. I don't think they're that good of swimmers. <laughs> and, uh, they are cats. Overcraft. Take a boat, I suppose. They don't have thumbs. They can't build. A pedalo? <laughs> a what? Pedalo. <laughs> a pedalo. Yeah. You don't know yeah. what a pedalo is. Have you ever used a pedalo, Eric? You're talking about like one of those side-by-side boats that you get in with <laughs> someone you have a crush on and you pedal? A pedalo. A Yes, pedalo. Yes. Yes. Like a pedal boat? Paddlers. Someone you've got a crush on. Why would they be called paddlers? You don't paddle. You (laughs) you pedal. You pedal. You pedal, hence pedal law. But why is the low? Yeah. Whatever you're saying. Because it sounds funky. (laughs) Why not just call it a peddler? Because that doesn't sound funky. (laughs) It's a verb. ER, peddler. You are going to pedal this thing. Therefore, it is a peddler. Yes, but it is a brand, so they went, what sounds better, pedal or... Sounds like, right. sounds like pedophile. No, I call it a paddle boat. You know what else sounds like pedophile? What? Oh, we're, t- we're taking a downturn right now. <laughs> <laughs> Your last name. Peterson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say, pe- we say pedophile, so... Oh, well, pedophile? Is that something that you do to animals? <laughs> yeah, why not? Jesus. Well, this took time for the worst very quickly. I blame you. <laughs> yeah. I blame you. Mm. Tom, tell us mm. about Africa. Um, Were there lions I, there? There weren't any lions. There was nothing oh. to straddle, unfortunately. I thought there was lots of things to straddle out there, but there was nothing. Not even a person? <laughs> uh, there, was some, there were some people but that I could easily have straddled. But... That's yeah. usually frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a sign on the wall near the pool, like people, somebody straddling someone with a line through it, so I couldn't do it. Straddling prohibited, uh, strictly. <laughs> that would have only spurred Eric on, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I did straddle the Golden Gate Bridge. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Nice. And it's his, it's his mission in life to straddle every landmark across the world. <laughs> I've got the, pretty much every major landmark on the West Coast. Well, the pyramids would be pretty sore. I straddled a <laughs> super tall sequoia, uh, sequoia or redwood, one of the two. I wanted to get General Sherman, but he was behind a fence. 
So I straddled the fence in front of him. General Sherman? General Sherman, just a guy. <laughs> it's the giant tree, one of the most famous redwoods. Oh. Uh, there are famous trees? Yes, yeah, it's a this huge, is America, huge Dan. One. We idolize okay. everything. Oh, that's what that is. Because I was reading a book when I was on holiday, and it said... <laughs> The guy, the guy was like, "Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't get, uh, I couldn't get an erection." So uh, it normally it's like a Californian redwood, and I was like, oh, "I guess." What kind of books are you reading? Fifty Shades. <laughs> I was reading a book on holiday. He sounds so depressed. <laughs> Uh, that's what English people do. We don't actually do anything when we go away. We just sit by the pool and wait. <laughs> so that's true. All we do. So true. Because when you were like, tell me about Africa, I was like, well, the pool was nice. <laughs> well, I read a book. <laughs> I read a book. I'm just, when I go to Australia, I'm just going to like sit next to the Sydney Opera House and just read. <laughs> I love reading on vacation, though. It's amazing because you can't feel guilty it about it. I use it, it as time to just, just uh, gorge on games. Yeah, I played a ton of games as well. It's straddle things, apparently. Duh. I usually make sure I've got a Pokemon game before I go away, because that yes. just lasts forever. I played uh, Pokemon Heart, no, Soul Silver while I was away. Oh, oh nice. What are you, good. <coughs> Well, in my mind. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Soul Silver the remake that came out yeah. two years? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, man. Like, I played it just because I loved Pokemon Silver back in the day so uh, i say i was a pokemon gold man Ooh. <laughs> we wouldn't have been friends i was gonna say no. fight 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 well, actually we probably would because then actually, we could have yeah, <laughs> <could've> traded <laughs> <laughs> you hate this and i hate that but let's trade <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it was like um, my friend had pokemon blue my i had pokemon red and we just used to gather together to trade and eventually got every single pokemon Bear in mind, this is the original before there was about 16 million different types. The original 400? So, oh. It was 150 originally. Oh. Also, we bought, we found a shop that sold Pokemon cards, so we bought a couple of packs for nostalgia. Did you open them? So just like a piece of card with somebody's doodle the picture of <laughs> Honestly, they were, they were so fake. Like, some of the Pokemon had like 8,000 HP. Nice. And then their attacks would take away like 20. <laughs> And um, all the like, you know, like the borders around the edge, they'd be all like, yeah. it wouldn't be the same size, and the card felt like really tacky. And I think one of them might have even had a Pikachu on the back instead of the actual Pokemon symbols. Oh god! Like it was just, it wouldn't even trying to be a good fake. But we just bought. When I was when I was a kid. I used to have a super fake ancient Mew card. Anybody uh, ever have that? I had the one that you got if you went to watch the film in the cinema, and they gave you a Mew. On entry with your ticket, Mew. but oh, yeah. that film was sad as hell. That's all oh, I remember. Yeah, was. much tears, <laughs> many feels. Not as bad as the time when he had to let Butterfree go. Oh God, it still gets me. Oh, that's too much. Do you need a moment? I don't remember yeah. the movie. It was horrendous. That wasn't in the movie. That was in the anime. But he just no. he, he um, evolved Caterpie into Butterfree, and then he had to let Butterfree go with the other Butterfrees, and it was just devastating. I, there are so many sad parts in Pokemon, oh, yeah. but the show is on Netflix, which is amazing. Yeah. The original cartoon? Yeah. It is, it? yeah. Oh, yeah the first I used to few... watch it all the time after my paper route. We had it on at lunch. At school? <laughs> yeah. What the hell no, like, kind at... of school did you go to? No, you would go home for lunch and you'd watch Pokemon. What the hell kind of school did you go to that you went home for lunch? <laughs> in elementary school? Yeah. I, oh. I used to go home for lunch. It would take me, like, five minutes to walk to school. Wait, so the school would just say, okay, it's lunchtime, all the kids can leave if they want to? Yeah. yeah. It would, Like, you were kind of a loser if you stayed for lunch. What was the incentive to go back? Because you had to go back to school? See, here, once you are on campus, you cannot leave until the end of the school day. Oh, American. You sure you didn't go to prison instead of school? Mm, there were a lot of bars on the windows. Okay. But... <laughs> That's really soft. <laughs> I thought it was Land of the Free. Is it you still like that school. over there? Yeah. It's some um, yeah. secondary school over here, which is your high school. Well, high but, um... school, yeah. They have open campus for lunch, but elementary school, like sixth and seventh graders? No way. Oh, no, yeah. no. We can't do that. Okay. Oh. Sixth and seventh grade. Really? Yeah. Is, is that what you were. What, Tom? 
how old is sixth and seventh grade? Like uh, 13. 12, 13. Yeah, no, 11, 12. Ahead. Yeah, we start secondary school when we were 11, so yeah. Even mm-hmm. before then, you could go. Like, we used to go home for lunch. Jesse, you sure somebody just didn't tell you this and you went? <laughs> yeah. No. All of my friends, like, <laughs> you were allowed to go home. My mom let me us go home, and I would take care of my sister in, like, grade four, grade five, grade four, grade five. I don't know. What? Yeah. Make so bagel think, bites I think for you lunch. broke Eric's brain. So you just, like, waddle home in your nappies or whatever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, if I went home in the middle of the school day, I'd be like, well, fuck that. I'm not going back. See, but I ne- I have never skipped school. Once I skipped class to help out, like, for an event or something, and that was it. I never skipped. See, I never skipped in middle school or high school, but the minute I got that first taste of skipping class in college, it was like crack. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just oh, looked yeah. at it and went, I do I you need to be honest. absolutely need to be there? Nah. Yeah. You don't, because yeah. it's all uploaded to somewhere, so you just yeah. download it and read it. <laughs> I just made friends with the people who took the notes. Yes. But then, yeah. to offset that, I made sure that I was that friend for other people in other classes. So, the whole universe was... was Aligned. Aligned. Yeah. It's a beautiful plan. It was. It worked quite well. That's it, Tom. That's all you did in Africa was read books on the beach and buy fake Pokemon cards. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it really was. To be honest with you, Jeez. did it you was... get into a fight with a German over a sun lounger? Um, thankfully, managed to avoid that. But uh, yeah, normally that is the case. That happens. Is yeah. that a good? Is that a? Is that a uh, common occurrence? No, yeah. there's German Germans basically what they do is first thing like the crack of dawn or probably even before that like probably about <laughs> half three in the morning they, they all trek yeah. downstairs and put their towels on the sun lounges so they claim them yeah that's exactly right <laughs> then it all and, kicks uh, off yeah but all the hotels uh, have got signs up everywhere saying you can't reserve sun lounges but everybody does so why don't you just walk down and move the towel yeah oh, because then you get then you get angry fat Germans <laughs> yeah what are they going to do to you about it Throw you in the pool. Do we want like a history lesson on Germany and what they're going to do about it? Because <laughs> English people are generally like more passive aggressive, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. By passive aggressive, you mean we shy away from any type of confrontation? Yes. yes. <laughs> Unless you're from Scotland. Yeah. And then they'll go for it. But um, then you won't understand what they're saying. You'll just get <laughs> general rants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were coming when we flew back actually we were going through border control um and the queues were just horrendous i've never seen something so massive and one of the scottish guys was massively kicking off and he was just swearing in his red face and he was just <laughs> punching the air and it's like what is this guy saying like i could understand half of what you were saying but was he a he ginger so too angry. uh no but he just Probably. Probably Very saying white. something about tartan and shortbread and yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> when my family comes over, like when they get really, really talking, it's challenging. And where about they from in Scotland? Uh, Dundee. Wait, and your family's have... Scottish? Yeah, my mom was born in Scotland. Oh shit. Yeah. Mm. And so, quite... yeah, it's funny though. Like, no idea. Sometimes That's really strong Dundee. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to have um, at uni. I used to have an Irish flatmate, and he um, he was so Irish, it was unbelievable. But he also used to have a lisp. So, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it was just basically like I, it took me about three months to actually even grasp what he was saying. It was just noise, <laughs> just like <laughs> that's tough. top of the morning to you. <laughs> <That's tough. laughs> I think I find some people from um, around where you are, Dan, quite hard to understand. Oh, good, yeah. If you get like towards, it, if you get towards yeah. Newcastle, it's just yeah. Oh, nice. I want to hear an actual <laughs> true dyed in the wool chav. <laughs> that's, that's more like in this down here in the southeast. The chavs. Yeah. Oh, I th- see, what, I just Rambo? picture this oh, entire do sl- community. Oh, do slag. Do slag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In do the slag. southeast, what's like, going on with your <laughs> hair, you slag? <laughs> no, no, no. 
You, Fuck. you sound like Fucking. you live in just a wonderful place, Dan. There's <laughs> <laughs> actually some burning tires outside right now. <laughs> People in track suits just running around stabbing each oh, other. Oh, God damn it. All the wheels are gone off my car again. <laughs> <laughs> It's just um, a bunch of people outside just pointing at me going, you slick, you slick. <laughs> what is that even supposed to mean? You slut. slut. You slut. You loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there wasn't really much to do. It was like a hotel situated and there was not much around it. And it was an all-inclusive holiday where... All your drinks and your food and your ice cream was all free, so you just kind of hung out in the hotel, really, and got fat, but, and got re- yeah, and like did very little exercise <laughs> and ate like too much ice cream just because it's there. Like we can't oh, it's fit free. Tom into his plane seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that's how it was when I took a cruise. Um, I discovered on the back of the ship there was a twenty four of twenty four seven ice cream cone machine, and just. If I didn't have an ice cream cone in my hand, I was not living. <laughs> okay, question about ice cream. You guys have soft serve, but you guys have like 52 flavors of soft serve. Yeah. Who? America? Yeah, like in New England they did. Oh. I don't know if that's cross. When I was in Vegas, they advertised frozen yogurt. And I was like, oh, okay, that's that's healthy. But it was ice cream. It was just soft ice cream. Well, they have these frozen yogurt bars over here where they've got yeah. dozens and dozens of different flavored yogurt, and then you just pile your cup full, and then you go over to the toppings bar and yeah. you just <laughs> yeah. scoop cups of shit on top of your ice cream, and then it you weigh the it, and then you give them some dollars, and then you sit down and get fat. Yeah, I was that living That sounds wonderful. Oh, it's awesome. It was- it was amazing. I can't remember which I'm one totally it was. Going there when sure. I when they first there. introduced him here in Phoenix, I went with my uncle, and they had... Um, sample cups just they look like the little ketchup containers that you get at uh, McDonald's so we went in and we just got that thing stacked as absolutely high as we could it was probably a good nine ten inches on the top of that thing and just walked out with our sample cup oh my god that's the one I went to they don't do sample cups anymore (laughs) (laughs) the the one I went to in America was called blizz is that one you know those things so, are a dime a dozen. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's no national franchise. Do you guys have Menchies? Menchies are like franchise like a disease. Of it. I know it's weird. <laughs> I've got, got the, the Menchies. Yeah. It's a little weird. We have like Razzleberry, Yogurtini, um, Blue Sky, something or other, and they're all the same. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we should probably talk about some games. Yes, we've really gone through the top. <laughs> this, uh, this has actually been a pretty big week for video games. On, uh, what was it, the 9th, I believe, last Wednesday, was the 20th anniversary of PlayStation. Oh, what? my God. Yeah, in America. Well, yeah. Yeah. But that's the only thing that people celebrate. Yeah, we are course, the largest consumer. I almost guessed right. And I metaphorically. Right. I thought you were going to say we're the only ones that matter. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, uh, 20th. Yeah, the, the, the 20th anniversary of PlayStation. Um, and today is Mario? Mario. Today, the 30th anniversary of Mario today, is it? Yes, yes, it's today. <laughs> I feel like that one has been a little bit more celebrated than the 20th anniversary of PlayStation. Yes. You know what would have been, would have been perfect for the 20th anniversary of PlayStation? Final Fantasy VII Remake. Correct. <laughs> Where is it? I demand it now. I, I bet it's going to I bet it's going to hit for the 25th anniversary. Or or it'll be the 20th anniversary release of Final Fantasy VII itself. That's my That's official prediction. I, I read yeah. a, um, a rumor online that it, at midnight on the 20th anniversary, uh, all games on the PSN would be free for 10 minutes. Is that, <laughs> that did that come? Such a shit show. <laughs> did that, did that, did That's like that one of those through? video game myths we were on about the other week. <laughs> Just, yeah. Good God. Is this in one of your books you read, Tom? 
<laughs> yeah, but, uh, Californian redwoods and erections. And Tom was Tom was drunk and fr- eating loads of ice cream, and then he saw this and just went, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> honey, we gotta head home." I was trying to sign oh, in for PSN on his phone. He's like, "This shit ain't free, but buy it anyway. They'll reimburse me." <laughs> <laughs> Tell him your next credit card. Buy bills every skin suck. pack going. Oh god! All I got was hateful boyfriend about pigeons falling in love. <laughs> Have you seen what? that game? No. Oh yeah, really? yeah, yeah. What's that one called? <laughs> I think it's called Hato Full Boyfriend. It's why is it, it called re- Hato Full? <laughs> Honestly, I think it's based on it an really, anime, isn't it? It really is called that, yeah. And the front cover on PSN was like pink with two shitty looking pigeons on the front, Can and I'm... it was like ten quid or something. I was not going to buy it, but I was, I was tempted really... to purchase I Am Bread. Oh, oh yeah, that would be hilarious. That multiplayer. Ah, uh, I don't think so but the whole concept is you have a piece of bread that you need to navigate to a toaster so basically it's about him going through this world wanting to kill himself it's my life every morning (laughs) (laughs) i am bread must get this bread to the toaster. getting connected with me on a deep level (laughs) looking forward to the review from tom for that one (laughs) (laughs) Unfortunately, Tom, that that was not true. That uh, that no. rumor. You can chalk that one up to the myth category firmly. God damn. Speaking of myths, though, uh, yesterday or two days ago, Miyamoto actually confirmed a pretty long-standing Mario three myth. Did you guys read about that? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, the myth states that Mario three never actually took place, but instead. It was just a stage show. It was an entire play put on where all of the characters played their part. Um, And Miyamoto did a short little video answering some old Mario myths, like, does Mario break the Um, blocks with his hand? Eric, what? before you go nuts with this, bear in mind on this video, Miyamoto also confirmed that he is Bowser Jr.'s mother. Yes. So, (laughs) So I don't really believe him. The video, he is so cute. Oh, I could just eat him up. He's so pretty. <laughs> no, he was just like so cute and oh, he's cute. That, that's Shut a strange up. noise. Do you need a minute, Jeff? No, I'm good. I'm just good. Go and clean your, go and clean yourself up for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Why don't you believe him, Dan? What? Let's look at the facts of the myth itself and he's why it would Bowser be plausible. It's Ju- not Bowser Junior's mother. Who cares? That was a different myth. Exactly. <laughs> But who's to say he's telling the truth about the other one? Why would he lie about it? Yeah. Why would he lie about being Bowser Jr.'s mother? Because, because... the only... Well, I don't want to say the only. There are very few female characters within the Mario universe. And technically he is kind of because... Yes, he is a mother. You're right. He's definitely a woman. No, Let the her creation finish. aspect. It's, but so he's, not, he's not mother than is he? How do you know? Maybe he wants to be called a mother. Stop putting your gender roles on people, Dan. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> Shoot me in the head. <laughs> Shoot me in the head. So the, just look at the game itself. The opening screen, the curtain coming down, the, uh, the, 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 the title dropping down with the, the shadow behind it looks like it's in front of it. Um, all the characters coming in from different sides of the stage. All the platforms and blocks within the levels are either bolted there or hung there by by, stri- by by ropes. The end of the level is a big black screen where it stops. Mario exits off stage right. Um, there are costumes. The it's Tanuki suit. The frog suit. Yep. Look at the background costume, colors, there are too. There costumes in other Mario games. So maybe they're all plays. Hmm. It's, it's and, all just a big mindfuck. I don't know. I believe it. I think it's cool. I, I mean, like it's, it. It's it is. super different from all of the other Mario games. None of the other ones even remotely allude to the fact that it's a stage play. Yeah. Well, wasn't I agree. Super Mario 2 really different from the rest as well? Well, that was yeah. because they didn't think Americans could stomach the actual Mario 2, which was eventually released in America as Super Mario The Lost Levels. That's the true Mario 2. But right. they deemed it too difficult for American audiences, so then they took Super Doki Punch 
and swapped out uh, all of the characters and put Mario characters in and released that in America as Mario 2. But it's supposed yes. to be a dream as well. Yes, if you get to the end. I think it's at the end or somewhere Mario's just dreaming the whole thing. Yeah. Duh. Which is interesting. That's such I, a cop, that's such a cop out. <laughs> such a bad ending. Yeah, that's a that's one of the worst <laughs> storytelling tropes. Is oh sorry, it's just all a dream. <laughs> yep. To be honest, though, is... Galaxy One, Galaxy One is um, kind of ends up being a dream because they forget everything that happens. Do they? Like, yeah, in Galaxy Two, um, they don't remember anything from the last one. Hmm. Well, so we had the PlayStation anniversary, the Mario anniversary. What else has happened this week? I don't know. No. Nothing. Uh, no, except I got Metal Gear Solid Five. Hooray! Yay. <laughs> Sorry, that's okay. old news. We've spent two episodes on that already. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Still so much to talk about, though. All oh. I need to say is to just do a Dan Curtis and say, it is good. It is good by it. It, it is good. <laughs> yes, and there we go. Should we do a Metal Gear spoiler cast sometime? Because I feel we need to talk about shit. We could. If we ever finish it. We could. Yeah. We could. We could. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to finish it because it's the most ridiculously long game in the world. <laughs> I want to go back to Mario. Playing, seriously, for a I've been playing it for about thirty hours, and I'm only thirty percent. Really? That's right. Really? Where I'm at too is thirty percent. I was 100%. reading. I saw a tweet from a guy that had a hundred percent, and he said it took him 160 hours. Wow! Like nothing else since it come out. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Fallout Four comes out soon. And- yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. You're not going to buy that. I am. Okay, good. Let's go back to Mario for a minute because this is kind of a big deal. We can spend a little time talking about this. What are some of your favorite Mario Thanks memories? Thanks for your permission, by the way. My permission? Yes, that we can share some things. I was trying to be funny. It didn't work. Shut up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> There's just something about the way that you say what that just makes you sound like a complete idiot. Thanks, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I just picture you about to take a sip of something and your eyes go crossed and you just like, what? <laughs> I don't know why I'd be sipping and saying what at the same time. <laughs> no, you're about to, and then it's like something short circuits in your brain, and your eyes go all weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's away. <laughs> okay, Jess, do you want to try your joke again? No, it's done. It's okay. done. Are you sure? Yeah. Just missed the joke window. <laughs> it <laughs> always close. comes around again. Uh, it's too much pressure. Okay. Feel free to inject it again if you'd like to. Okay. So, do you guys want to talk at all about Mario or no? Yeah. Okay. Like Mario. What was the question? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> No, let's talk about some, some some of our favorite memories with Mario growing up. So, the, the only Mario game I actually played properly when I was young on release was Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Oh, dude, I was actually going to crack a joke and say, don't fucking say Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was honestly my memory of Mario. I didn't even know that Super Mario World and all that stuff. So existed. not even a real Mario game. I thought it was real. That's like, like saying Wario Land is your favorite Mario Mario Land was amazing. Don't fucking fuck with Mario Land. <laughs> Jesus, I touched a nerve. <laughs> that was a great game. I played that nonstop. I fucking love Wario. <laughs> fucking go um, over and cut you. <laughs> also, Super Mario Land 6 Golden Coins for the Game Boy was also brilliant. That actually was pretty fantastic. Yes, thank do you Do they very have much. those on the Virtual Console for the 3DS? Because if they do, I'm probably going to go buy them all. Um, I'm not the proud owner of a 3DS, but I wouldn't be surprised if they had all that stuff on there because it's classic. classic. But 
the first Mario game I ever bought was the most disappointing Mario game of all time. Mario Tennis on the Virtual Console. Or on the uh, Virtual Boy. No, no. It was um, Mario and Yoshi, and you're Mario, and you're holding trays at the bottom of the screen, and then you have to catch things with the trays. What? <laughs> I bought it when I was like 10, thinking it was going to be amazing. And I saved up my pocket money for it, thinking it would be like a platformer game. And, it sucked. and Dr. Mario. Ever play that? Yes. I fuck you. That is a great game. Oh, I hated it. You hate Dr. So Mario? Like, oh, come what on. It's like Candy Crush. You, no, oh. shut up. It's like it's a thousand mod- times better than Tetris. It is the best. Isn't, isn't it Candy Crush, I've basically? touched a nerve big style again. Exactly. It is not Candy Crush. <laughs> this game is the tits. Yeah, but I bought these games thinking I'd be like jumping on, getting mushrooms, and well, did you like even look at the box? I was just a child. <laughs> you were I'm dumb. Just a child, leave me alone. <laughs> like if you would have looked at the the image, I'm pretty sure this was. Hold on, I want to find the box art for Mario. Oh, I'll and tell Yoshi. you something. Here's the thing, Doctor Mario and the other one I mentioned with the trays. They were ten pounds each, whereas like. Mario Land was 20 and I couldn't just wait I had to buy a game yeah and that is that goes back to the old adage of you get what you pay for Tom mm. you probably bought Yoshi's <laughs> cookie too didn't you oh that might even be what it was called no 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 <laughs> there is one called Mario and Yoshi yeah that's the one it's got a yellow box on mm-hmm. the front I'll never forget that deceptive artwork <laughs> <laughs> I would have looked at that and went, yep, that's shit. No, you wouldn't have. You're right, I probably wouldn't no, have. There you go. You pretty sweet. You. A ten year, ten year old brain, you just see the front. If it looks shiny, you go, I will buy that. Yeah. Buy it. Mario on the front head. Yeah, sometimes she had turd, sometimes Oh, here's the box art, Tom. I found the box art. Uh, this is what Mario. you and your tiny brain at the time could have looked at and determined, <laughs> oh, that is not what I'm looking for. Had you done the simple task of rotating the box and then <laughs> focusing your eyeballs <laughs> no, on the pictures, no. you'd have been, oh, there's no jumping involved. This is Tetris, but shittier. Mm. God, that looks shite. Well, that was for a console called the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, I'm talking about I've the never game. heard of that one. Okay, before. so the Game Boy one is probably even worse. Oh, yeah, it is worse. <laughs> At least this one has colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, here I forget, we go. I forget that, you know, the original Game Boy didn't have colors. I forget that. Yeah. yeah. I fired up my I original Game Boy the other day and tried to play something, and I couldn't do it. It was too dark. It was my mm. first console. I had so many games for it. I loved it. Anybody ever have, have one of those stupid lights for a Game Boy? Yes. And yeah. I had one for the first Game Boy Advance. Yes. Yeah. That's the game. That's the game. So funny. Oh, it sucked so much. <laughs> Oh my god. I, 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 think I, I think I might have said to my mum, can we go and take it back? <laughs> <laughs> and we did. We took what it back. What are you and supposed I, and to do? Do you know what I traded it for? What? I traded it for a game called Alleyway, thinking that was really cool. And it was Breakout. Oh. <laughs> it's just a fucking game of Breakout. My friend used to have um, 101 games in one for the Game Boy. Oh, it, was, it was literally the same eight games with different names. <laughs> Over and over again. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I think the games. first Mario game I remember purchasing myself was Mario Golf for the Game Boy. That is an amazing game. That game was awesome because we were on the yeah. on a on a road trip back from somewhere and I had some money left over from vacation and I was bored in the car and had my Game Boy, so we stopped and I just found the first Mario game and bought it. I had no mm. interest in golf at that time. I'm like, yeah, it's Mario, it's gotta be good. <laughs> that came with my Game Boy with Tetris, and I couldn't stop playing Mario Golf. It was super good. Yeah. And there was a game called Baseball that came out around the same time. It's just called Baseball. Yeah, that's else. back before they got really innovative with their titling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And then obviously, years later, Pokemon like researched the Game Boy, gave it a second life. Yeah. But, but yeah. Um,. Actually, I just bought a textbook called Game Boy World, and it like documents like loads of the Game Boy games, and like it's got pictures of the box art, and like there's a paragraphs about it by um, a guy who writes for US Gamer. 
Oh, nice. And I uh, picked it up on Amazon. It was like, it's really That's nice. That's a like, website, nice. isn't it? Game Boy World? Um, I don't know. But the guy who wrote it is Jeremy Parrish. He's like a US games journalist. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, it's really good. He just kind of, he kind of went through the first year of games on Game Boy, uh, on Game Boy in 1989. And he documents all of them and like each double spread is like everything about that game and then where, it, where its position was versus the Game Gear and stuff. It's cool if you like Game Boy and, you know, you, you had one back in the day. The original Game so, Boy was tits. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was mind blowing, and then especially when Pokemon came out, and you could link up with your friends, and that was just <sighs> yeah the best Pokemon thing ever. Was amazing. I'm still on the fence about whether or not I want to spend the money and buy a Game Boy Color. I never had one of those as a kid. Oh my oh. god! The, when it, it moved from Pokemon from the old one into Color, that was just yeah. mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, Were those really easier was. or just as hard to see the screen? Oh, just as hard to see. But it had I color. found it a little bit easier, but yeah. uh, maybe that maybe that's just my. It didn't destroy your eyes as much. Yeah, and I remember like in the Game Boy um, Pokemon Gold and Silver when it went to nighttime and the screen would just kind of dim a bit and like um, it also had a infrared thing on the top and you could trade using the infrared on the Game Boy Color. Oh shit! You ever you ever do that? Like prehistoric NFC. Called- yeah, this thing called Mystery Gift, and you do oh. it with your friend at school, and then one of you would get like a, yeah, like a rare TM or a rare candy or something like that, like random item and stuff. Huh. It was really good, man. Pokemon on the Game Boy, Game Boy Color was brilliant. Brilliant. What about you, Dan? What was your first Mario memory? Oh, to be honest, I didn't grow up so much with oh, Mario that's right. you because grew up obviously with Sonic. I was the Sega guy and just then straight onto playstation so but i i'm pretty sure i used to have the original mario for one of the game boys and i can't remember which one it was i'm surprised they never did a port of the original mario onto the game boy because a lot of the nes games had game boy iterations like mega man they had mega man 2 but it had a couple of the bosses missing yeah because that would have been a real seller. Yeah, Battletoads. <laughs> but oh, what they Battle really Toads need... Again. <laughs> what, Jess? I was going to say, like, I think a lot of people would buy the one anyway. I don't know. Would it increase their sales that much if they had it available on both? Well, I think back then people didn't really... Not everybody had the means to have both an NES and a Game Boy because... Face it, the Game Boy was kind of a luxury, but if you made the choice to get that, you're missing out on one of the best games of all time at that point. That's true. Mm. And it really wouldn't have been that complicated. I was watching a video today about um, how they designed the original Mario levels. Did you guys see that one floating around? No, I haven't seen that one. So two of the original, Miyamoto and then one of the other designers did this short little two or three minute uh, vignette of where they dug up some old documents when they were designing the game and they had all these big pieces of paper, almost like graph paper, where they had hand drawn all of the levels that when they were done, they'd kick off to the programmers and they would use that to spec in and and program the levels. But they were talking about kind of their thought process behind level 1-1 and how that whole level, therefore, is kind of a tutorial because it kicks off with a Goomba and... Yeah. They intentionally put those blocks there so that you jump, and when you jump, you're going to hit that 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 block with the mushroom. But you look at it and you go, "Okay, that looks a lot like the Goomba, but it's not moving. Maybe I should get it." And then you get it, and boom, you're big. And it's the, that first screen is a huge tutorial, and then the step, the part with the stairs, there's the gap, and yeah. that first gap has a floor, but then the next gap doesn't, and it just can't, it's this very basic introductory uh, tutorial to the game. It's just kind of neat to hear their thought process behind how they designed that. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I remember watching the um, conference, at, the digital conference at E3, and they kind of showed you that graph paper. Yeah. yeah. And then they'd layer the tracing paper over the top, yep. which had like other... I think that's, that might even be the same graph. video then. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was really, really cool to see how, that, how they did that. And like such, such love had gone into it, and they still had the original pieces of paper 
And then they had they were talking about the the concept that they originally had for Mario with um, land, sea, and air. So they had different levels where he'd be flying, and different levels where he'd be in a boat or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like a pedalo. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, a pedalo. Full circle. <laughs> Bringing them jokes back. <laughs> That's what this I is, do. This is a video. Sound like an idiot when saying what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I'm going to isolate that one clip, and I'm going to set that as my work phone notification so an email has come in for work. What? <laughs> Do it. It's going to be awesome. Did you guys ever, like, have your favorite levels? Like, I know my sister and I would alternate levels, so, like, I could never do the one level that was her level, and, like, she could never play, I think it was three, that was mine and she would never be allowed to play it. We were kind of mean. I don't bit. think I had a favorite level. I had a least favorite world, and that was five. Shut up. I could have stand because that's when things got friggin' difficult. It suddenly turned into night, and there's snow on shit, and there's bullets and springs, and yeah. these these the, these hard shelled little beetles. Fuck level five. I used mm. to really struggle with world eight. That was the worst. I remember watching my dad beat it for the first time. And it's like, at that point, I I remember my my tiny brain looking at my dad and going, you're awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Because he could beat Mario. That's true, actually. I I imagine that's a lot how Ellie sees me right now when we play Mega Man together. No. No. I've gotten her to the point now where when we sit down on the Mega Man Legacy Collection, when you load it up, it plays some really intense the Mega Man title music. And uh, as soon as that comes on, she just starts headbanging, like fist pumping when it comes up. It's so funny. Oh, like when she was dancing to Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She loves the Rocket League music, but she even more so loves the Mega Man music now. Whenever it comes on, she just starts headbanging and dancing around. You've got to record that. I will. What? My favorite uh, theme from Mega Man is probably the Woodman theme from Mega Man Two. Oh yeah, Woodman is fantastic. So, is that your? What's your favorite? I think one of mine would be Woodman or um, Crash Man. Just because oh, it's yeah. a little bit more upbeat and poppy. But yeah, uh, I like um, Magnet Man from Three. Oh, I've never played Three. Ooh. I've only played Mega Man Two. How many Mega Man games is there? There's like ten. Aren't there, there are like... eight <laughs> on the NES. God. And then it flips over to the seven and eight. I believe also went to. No, there's six on the NES. And then there's seven and eight on the PlayStation. And then they get into the X series. And then yeah. they get into the Battle Networks. And then there's, and the, there's... the Mega Man Legends. And there's Mega Man Zero on DS. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. Has nobody but... ever tried to make them 3D? Yeah, the Mega Man Legends, and it is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I somebody would have tried. It's really, really bad. For some reason, it holds this this niche love within a, a small group of people, and it is just terrible. <laughs> Everything about that game is terrible. <laughs> Mega Man does like not land itself well. Don't. Save yourself the pain. It's like getting a frontal lobotomy. Just yeah, like... play Barbie <laughs> instead. Yeah, play Barbie, duh. <laughs> Let's... He's not even wearing a helmet. Yeah. What's that about? What about, let's talk, since PlayStation was a big week, let's talk about some PlayStation stuff too for a few minutes. What are some of your favorite PlayStation memories? Um, I remember when I, got, when I got the PlayStation, it was before the analog sticks were around, like the really yeah. light pad. And um, we got it and it came, my my mom got it for us. And then we got it home and the, it came with Formula One. Like That was the game it came with because um, I wanted I Resident Evil, but well. I was like 11 or something. <laughs> yeah. And we just sat down and we played it in arcade mode and it was... Like in first person driving around 3D, the whole family watching this TV, like, fuck, this is the future. Oh, like, it was a really, sweet, really, yeah, it was a really strange. The old Reagan family like just bonding over Formula mind. One. 
on this really I've got a collection TV. of them games. <laughs> if you want me to send you them, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you could recreate that with your family, Tom. I know. No, but um, going back to the memories, Eric, you know, you, you actually reminded me of this earlier in the week. Where um, you said you used to have like stupid stickers on the top of your oh, birthday. Jesus, yes. Oh, God. Uh, so I had. Uh, yeah. This week, I went. I was going through my bins of consoles and controllers and cables. Christy said, you need, to, you need to condense this. So I tore everything out. I laid all my stuff out. I think I even sent out a picture or two of it. But um, one of my PlayStations had all this shitty gunk on top of it. And I was trying to get that off. And I remembered that a long time ago in one of the PlayStation, what was the PlayStation magazine? PSM. Um, they sent out with Tomb Raider 2 the CD cover sticker. And I had this big thing for Tomb Raider at the time. Like, this is awesome. And I peel it out and I slap it on. And uh, I instantly mm-hmm. went, that's not coming off. And I just left it on, and finally I got sick of it, and I started to peel it off. And this is back before they developed those stickers that would come off without leaving a bunch of shit. So yeah. for the years, I've been trying to get all that stuff off, and I can't. So I took a, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I'm like, this shit gets anything off. So I start <laughs> wiping really hard, and like the lettering of the PlayStation logo started coming off. Like, this yeah. sucks. Oh, shit. Can't you use a uh, like, white spirit or something? Like, or that just I've tried Goo Gone. I've tried everything. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it sucks, but the, at least that's how I know which one's my original PlayStation. See, yeah. we were never allowed like the two rules that we had about our like toys and stuff. We were never allowed to put stickers on anything. Like my dad had to put the stickers on like Kinder eggs and stuff like that, so they wouldn't look like crap. And we were never allowed to cut Barbie's hair ever. Why would you want to? That's the thing. Like, we had so many of our friends that would cut Barbie's hair and it would look like crap. So our Barbies always had a full head of hair. Which is what they were meant to have. (laughs) Yeah. But sometimes it got boring after a while. Just wanted to snip it a little bit. So would you, like, pop her leg off or something and be like, hey, I got a new Barbie, amputee Barbie. No, my dog would eat a lot of our Barbies. So, like, some of our Barbies had, like, casts but if we just put like tape on them and they'd be like amputees the one ken that we had the good ken like because he was the better ken but he only had half an arm so he was the amputee ken oh my god poor yeah. ken <laughs> that's not the sticker that i had on mine but that's what those stupid st- lid stickers oh uh, like. no i never did that yeah good. i did i did i can't remember what i had but it was great I did it with so my PlayStation good. 2 also. They had those those full body stickers that you could put on them. I did that. It's just stupid. I want to know if you guys remember, like, I had this demo disc for my PlayStation. And there was this game where you could drill down into the dirt and collect gems and stuff. And then once you finished the demo or the time ran out, it then came up with a picture and it said, it was like a black PS1. And it said, it said Net Yarrows. Heck yeah, Net, Net Yarrows! Net Yarrows! Yeah, I wanted like to a, buy one of those like a so dev bad. kit or something, right? Yeah, yeah. they were like three hundred oh, bucks. Yeah, shit. The de- I thought... they always used to have them. Um, those on demos. Yeah, I think I just there was remember one where it was in a maze them. and you had to collect items. I remember it very vividly. I actually have very fond memories of demo discs for PlayStation. Though, yeah, right? me I too. I used to play them all the time. How did the whole yeah. Net Yaros thing actually work? Like, how how well, would you develop on it? I don't know. I, I know. I wonder if like the, Google. the black PS1 had like a USB port on the back or something or some sort of connection to well, here's the, computer. Here's the, I think it's just a development kit. Here's the oh, kit really? for it. Because it's got... It looks so Eros- sweet. Your Rosie means let's do it together. Uh, uh. But did, would you do all of the developing on the console itself? That's why I'm wondering like, if I had just like software packs on the actual console but it's so cool looking i would love to have had that black ps on those look pretty sweet huh. yeah i do remember um, that i'd forgotten about that for a while i begged my dad yeah. incessantly oh it looks like it's got a what is that on that is that a vga or an rgb out it's got a parallel port or a serial port or something really oh yeah there is like a serial yeah. io port there yeah so it did connect to the that... computer 
yeah, I imagine you'd have to do something with the computer to compile it all. But really cool. And I remember the demo discs like having the first one I had. You could there was like a dinosaur that walked towards the screen. It was all black in the background. It's T Rex, and you could move his mouth and his arms and legs and stuff. Oh do you remember my! That? <laughs> do, 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 do you remember that, Dan? <laughs> yeah. Explosion <laughs> like, of nostalgia in brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it had this weird, creepy music, and uh, you could move yes. the dinosaur further away <laughs> and upside down and rotate him and make oh him my kind God. of raw. There was a and video was like, kicking around about that not too long ago, too. It was, I think it was like a tech demo, but it was like a really old demo disc. It was the first one I ever had. Um, and it was it, just a dinosaur walking in a black abyss. Yes. yes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Classic. Classic. Oh, loads of PlayStation memories. Yeah, that was kind yeah. of where my whole gaming obsession kicked off. I enjoyed NES and yeah. Super Nintendo, but it wasn't until I actually got a PlayStation that I just became obsessed with this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the reason, Actually, the first game I ever got on PlayStation was Oddworld Abe's Odyssey because you could fart. <laughs> Not surprised. That doesn't surprise me at all. Is that where your inspiration comes from? <laughs> yes. That was such a dark game, I remember, when I was a kid. game was great. Like this, this such a good game, though. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. Have you guys played the new and tasty one? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Loved it. So good. I'm really hoping to do Exodus. I think well. they will yeah. based on the success of new and tasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, It'd be stupid not to, really. Yes. I mean, it's fantastic. I, 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 as you guys know, I am obsessed with Final Fantasy VII. No, Big really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I might mention it every now and again. But, um, <laughs> what? <that's, that's> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> no, but actually, my um, my dad bought the PlayStation originally for him, not for me. No so way. I remember seeing him play on that, and he was playing it, and then I was like, what is this? And I knew nothing about RPGs or anything, and then I just jumped into it, and that was... Why I actually really love RPGs because I just jumped into that and played it. The first that was my first ever RPG ever. So mm. that was a hell of a, that was a hell of a memory for me. I think that's a lot I, of people that grew up with the PlayStation remember where they were the first time they played Final Fantasy VII, just because it's that yeah. pivotal of a game. I was in my grandma's basement, and my buddy had brought over his PlayStation and Final Fantasy VII. And he's like, "Dude, you got to play this." So I popped it in. Just that whole opening attack on Reactor Five thing is just still ingrained. Like me just sitting there, like this is this is insane. And I went upstairs, like yeah. Grandma, I need a PlayStation and I need Final <laughs> Fantasy Seven. It's like okay, uh, I best remember. Grandma ever. We yeah. played. My brother played Final Fantasy Seven before me, and I used to just sit and watch him. And we got as far as the Midgar Zolum. Like we're going across the swamp, uh-huh. that's quite but we didn't we didn't know that we had to get the chocobo to go across, so we had to keep trying to fight him. Oh, Kept gosh. losing, and then I hand wrote a, lo- a letter to PlayStation <laughs> Magazine asking how to get past it. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> they never, reply. And they never they never replied, so we never we never carried on, and that game just went on the shelf for ages. And then I picked it up one day and played it on my own. And so you have played through it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was going to disown you if not. Oh no, 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 no! Cool. <laughs> Jess, you've but, played Final Fantasy VII, right? <clears throat> Only dabbling, oh, not enough what? to like have like a full opinion. You're dead to me. Bye. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Uh, what did we play this week? I know last week we didn't come up with a a, a game for everybody, but. Dan and I unveiled the random game generator to some of the more interesting suggestions. Um, we played possibly the best recommendation this week in the form of Barbie Supermodel. I feel like we should play like the Aqua Barbie Girl song right now, just to get in the mood. Oh. <laughs> you want to sing it, Dan? Tom, sing. No. no. <laughs> so, this game... Did we all play Barbie Supermodel? Yep. I jammed on it. You jammed. Okay, you're good. I, so yeah, yeah. we can have a lengthy discussion about Barbie Supermodel. <laughs> it was shit. 
<laughs> okay, but I watched your playthrough and you guys sucked balls. Like, I don't even understand how you suck so bad. We are we guys. Have catastrophic internet. <laughs> Part of it, part of it is because at that point, uh, my internet was failing, and we were trying to stream this game between the two of us, and shit was going down. But it took us a while to figure out that you could change the outfits when you're trying to match her to the the magazine cover. And then I didn't know what the hell the dance sequence was for, so I sat there and did that for ten minutes. I don't. To yeah, be fair, I played that like, and then I hit start, and I was like, "Oh, I guess I'm supposed to do that." It wasn't very intuitive. No, yeah, but then if you go later on, it actually, actually, you do have to do it as part of a catwalk thing. Yeah, yeah. So if you watched us later, we actually got pretty into it. Like we were paying attention to eye color and lipstick and fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> but at the start, we were just like, "Oh God, we went for this." Barbie was drunk driving down Hollywood do Boulevard. Went got her nails did. And she drives back down Hollywood Boulevard <laughs> to a catwalk, and we made it to the beach scene where we got assaulted by guys on rollerblades, um, tripped by and demented bouncing, seagulls. Yeah, demented seagulls and volleyballs. And I think that's the whole game. It's just you skate somewhere for a fashion shoot, and then you go further on, learn some dance moves, then you go back. Try to replicate the dance moves, get a shit score, and then move on. Is it just the same thing, rinse, repeat? Like, did you beat it, Jess? Um, no, I got to, like, the end of the winter level, and I think there's only, like, one what, level what? after. There's a winter level? Yeah. Wow. What does she do? Does she ice skate or cross-country ski? No. She walks, oh. and then there are ice patches that she falls on and dies. <laughs> she but sucks. She does. <laughs> But so she either gets like, killed by a seagull or ice patches. Yeah, the exact same thing though. Like, go and look at the magazines. Do the uh... yeah. Sorry, I got distracted because I remembered I played the uh, non supermodel one, the junior one. And the first time it opened, I thought you could just like create your own Barbie characters. So I really failed at that because I thought it was like creating your own instead of matching with the magazine co- cover. Um, but yeah, it was pretty thing. funny Go practice to the watch catwalk. Dan and I try to remember what outfit she had on or how her fingernails and lips looked and we would make terrible <laughs> women. Don't care. <laughs> that was painful to watch at the beginning. I can imagine. Tom, you've been awfully quiet on Barbie <laughs> supermodel. <laughs> yeah, I struggle with the match the magazine cover dressing up thing and i didn't realize that you could um customize the individual parts ah, I see. So he's the same as us for like 10 minutes i was like next outfit next outfit next and then then by that time i was like i can't even remember what the, what the outfit was <laughs> and you see the outfit that she needs to have it's the wrong color <laughs> yeah. yeah i thought about taking a screenshot and then of the magazine. Oh, God, that's dedicated. <laughs> I was like, that's too dedicated. <laughs> just so I could get past it. But I got to the skate, the one we were skating around, and then I just lost all my lives because of rogue seagulls and beach balls. We almost and... made it back. Almost made it back. And then I got too cocky with my, my rollerblading abilities and hit the sand on the bottom and died. <laughs> they, like There were a couple places where it seemed impossible not to get hit. Like, on the first level, when you're driving on the road, and the car, like, slows down and stops, and you can't stop behind it, or when it's going up and down. Yeah, you've got that slug bug that's driving up and down. Yeah, That guy who was drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. What's his problem? He's a dick. Yeah, he's he's trying to pick up Barbie. He switches lanes without indicating. Ugh. Yeah. It's such road rage on that level. Terrible. Uh, yeah, that game was interesting. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what else we had. Oh, Dan and I dabbled in Young Merlin for the Super Nintendo. That game... Uh, yeah, we would have had a really good video about it if Eric remembered to press record. I had record, but I didn't have the screen up. I had a picture up instead. So we have some great <laughs> audio. And did Young Merlin resemble Toilet, or was it good? It was... <laughs> 
the whole point of the game, you, you, you just drop into the middle of the forest by this waterfall, and then a rainbow goes across the waterfall and then disappears, and you have to find diamonds and throw them into the pond to recreate the rainbow. But along the way, you get power-ups like exploding stars that you can throw at psychotic trees or grunting pigmen or Venus fly traps and Yep. Yeah. 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 Not... There was also a woman who seemed to be drowning in the river, but we didn't rescue her. She just went Oh where... yeah, she fell in, so we dive in after her. Nothing happens and we're back up on the shore going, Well, let's just continue this journey. That's so weird. Yeah, she yeah. died a horrible death. <laughs> so what's the murder aspect of it you are a wizard who throws magical exploding stars and you're young uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I see what they did there <laughs> he's a young guy throw young in the middle of it <laughs> yeah inventive uh, I went back after you and I played it Dan and I tried to play some more of it um yeah I didn't really play enough of it to have an intelligent thought on it, but it's not very good. <laughs> no, I don't think that's one we're going to continue with. To but let me tell you about Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, boy. That game is a game and a half. Um, <laughs> quite literally, not all of the characters are fully animated. There was one guy I was playing with who didn't have legs. I never got that. Oh, it was awesome. It's just this guy running around the court with no legs. So funny. What? People with four different colored jerseys. Who the hell's on my team? How do I shoot? It took me forever to figure out how to pass. And there's only two buttons. Yeah, what the frick? How do you pass? I just kept shooting all the time. You have to press the other button. No, I swear. <laughs> to I did. I did it. You, it's kind of like the old baseball games uh, where you have to press the directional button and then pass. Uh, yeah. I was just slamming buttons, I think. That's how it went. I me. played a full game and scored six points. <laughs> it's, My score was like 10 to 1 or something. Did you lose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. And I had it on rookie mode, too. Like, it was so bad. <laughs> oh, oh God. I mean, I didn't have much hope for this game but it's called harlem globetrotters i would have expected there to at least have been some sort of trick shot like some cartwheels or backflips or like spin the ball on your head no just shoot and pass that's it yeah it's depressing mm. <laughs> it's like a fun time no it wasn't and oh, then man. we had oh, oh sorry ahead. Did you ever figure out, like, how you could switch players? Because there was one guy that was in, like, a green shirt, and that's who you controlled when you were on defense. Mm -hmm. But he was always off screen, like, and it felt like it was so I never awkward. figured out how to switch characters or steal or do anything productive on defense other than okay. wait for them to score so I could try my hand at offense again. Okay, just checking. Yeah. <laughs> I was real bad at it. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, did anybody try the other one we had called the Legend of the Ghost Lion? Yeah, I had to go with that. <laughs> so did I. Did that you? game was interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of. It was more than what I expected. It wasn't bad. There's but a lot of I've never, story. Yeah, like which I was surprised by. Like I have never played any role playing game from the NES era. Not even the original um, Final Fantasy. No. Um, yeah, uh, maybe on like a port, but not actually on the NES. So maybe they're different or maybe they're the same. I'm not sure. But, um, the only RPGs I remember playing from the 8-bit era were on, like on computers, like on Amigas or Amstrads or whatever. Mm. Not Amigas, Amstrads. But, um, yeah, it, it was all right. But the, the, I didn't like the battling kind of thing. I appreciate that the technology, that like, it had to be in a certain way, but... Yeah, this looks like a game that would have been more at home, actually, on a computer. Uh, yeah. Everything was yeah. menu-based. If you wanted to pick something up, you had to open the menu and go to look. And then if there was nothing there, you'd have to sit through another line of dialogue. And then if you wanted to speak to somebody, you had to open the menu oh, yes. and go to speak, and then read through the dialogue, and then close it. <sighs> yeah, that oh. was so annoying. 
Um, and I was just when you have control to begin with, and then you kind of how far did you get or not? Uh, about half hour in. Yeah. Okay. I did probably about twenty twenty minutes, half hour. It's probably about the same and, distance. Yeah. So you know you like you kind of what happens at the start? You kind of finish through this first bit, and then you get sucked down into the world map, like you're in a restricted dungeon area. Yeah, just collecting I, keys and stuff. I just, I, yeah, I remember the the world map being very off putting. Like, wow, this just does not look like it belongs here. <laughs> yeah, my eyes. Giant like mushrooms, bold. huge flowers. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought I was in Egypt. Why is there green here? Like, <laughs> the the opening yeah. screen is the the pyramids of of uh, Giza, and just yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see the box art. Yeah. Well, and then all the characters, I mean, the game kind so of bad. leads itself to think, oh, this is going to be kind of a fantasy style game. And everyone's wearing like really bad 80s clothes and really dumb <laughs> hairstyles with with uh, the, this little girl carrying the, around a the giant woman on the spear. Box looks like Bonnie Tyler. She looks like Sonya from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, exactly. With the green leggings. <laughs> Maybe it is her. And just it's just it. beautiful. That hair is just beautiful. She's looks hot. Like the hair isn't even attached to her head. Yeah, oh look, god! This it's is a little like bit ghost, like, like the ghost lion. That was beautiful. The lovely lion. It's a bit like Axel from Streets of Rage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that was an interesting little game. But yeah, I think, like you say, on computer it'd been better with more input controls because having to go through a menu just to speak to somebody, and of course RPGs of, the, of that era, you always have to talk to the townsfolk to find out what to do next and yeah. so it's a bit cumbersome and like yeah i just switched it off after a while because it was a bit eh. well there, that's the kind of the point of the random game generators we're not going to play through all of it we're going to try it and give a very yeah. uninformed opinion <laughs> yeah I, that's what i do all of the time i don't know about you guys <laughs> jess did you play this game yep approach. i did did you really no but i'm still going to give you my opinion anyway I got past the title screen. That's all that matters. Oh shit! You may as well finish the game. That's an at achievement that point. for you, though. I really do. I didn't actually play this game at all. I was just pretending. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I kind of want to find this game now and just have the box. <laughs> Ooh, one of the the key points on the box art is three player memory. Oh shit! The oh, great yeah, role playing game for beginners. That's Do you have the courage to survive in the lair of the ghost lion? <laughs> this whole box art is questions. I, how high are I, your hopes? How powerful are your dreams? How strong is your courage? Uh, I I remember being quite surprised by seeing that you had three different save files. I don't know why. Could could you do that normally on the NES? Not normally. Yeah. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad play. Play, um did we play anything else this week guys um the uh dragon thing the dragon oh, you tried thing. that as well i know i'm really good at names oh yes dan we need King to talk dragons. about that that's King it the dragons so is yesterday this on the generator list no this is one yesterday you and i were trying to find something to play so i just picked a random ass game out of a list oh yeah and we stumbled upon a gem called the King of Dragons. And it's kind of along King the lines... King of the Dragons. Oh, sorry. King of the Dragons. No, it's the King of Dragons. Yeah. Oh, screw you then. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of along the lines of Streets of Rage and Gauntlet. Golden Axe. And Golden Axe, yeah. Yeah, not Gauntlet, Golden Axe. Um, side-scrolling beat em up style game with spells and awesome enemies. This game was a blast. It was for, a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. When you and I pick up random games, we're lucky to make it in six, seven minutes. Um, we played through as far as we could, died and went, well, let's do that again. And that right there is a sign that this is a good game. Yeah. Yeah, I we, played it we've for done, about an hour. We've done like a 40, 50 minute video on, on it, haven't we? Well, we naturally had to try all the characters. I think the only one we say, didn't try was the dwarf. What did you guys do? Because I watched when you were the warrior and the cleric. I think I went to like the end of the video. Oh, at the beginning, we went with elf and wizard. I played the elf. 
the elf was probably the best one because he had the longest range shots. The rest of them, yeah. like, mm. the, the wizard would shoot out a little fireball, and then as you beat the bosses, which I was far superior at than Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty the much every boss. Yeah. Well, then I felt bad for you because you just sat and moaned about it. Okay, of course. Um, <laughs> when you beat the bosses, you get different level ups for attack or defense, and then your your distance or your frequency of which you can attack increases. But um, the elf by far had the fastest and the longest range attack, so I think he was the best one. Yeah, I agree. I like my elf. The fighter and the cleric were a little more difficult to use because you had to be much closer. And I think we figured you can get hit four, maybe five times before you die. Yeah. It actually, it actually had RPG elements on. You could upgrade your Where, um, abilities. How did you up Like, just when you got the little boxes that said that yeah, you'd upgrade. Yeah, it's totally passive oh, okay. upgrading. Yeah, yeah. Because then oh. I was collecting gold and I didn't know what that was used for. Just a score to brag. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I actually looked it up, Eric. Though. You know how we said um, we couldn't figure out how to block? Yeah. If you watch the start of a video, there's actually some options where it selects if you have manual shield or not. Oh. So I assume if you activate that, you can block. But apparently with um, the characters who do have a shield, if you press the direction away at the right moment, they actually block attacks. So it's a timed, timing thing. Yeah. Huh. Well, what so do that's know? why I kept doing it randomly when we were playing. I would just dive in. And there's a, there's an attack, your magic spell, that just chews away your health. So the first time we played, I'm just oh, pounding yeah. that and then I'd pound through all my lives right away. But you did that in Streets of Rage as well. You just kept yeah. using well, it. Don't <laughs> give me a super attack and expect me not to use it. I have no restraint. <laughs> but it's supposed to be used sparingly. It's like hitting the red button, like an emergency. <laughs> yeah, don't ever. When you're put surrounded, that's the only time you use them. Yeah, or surrounded. Or when, when you want to try to steal, gonna hurt you more than using that spell will hurt you. When you want to try to steal the final hit on the boss before Dan gets it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it do that? Did you guys get more points if you got the last hit? Yep. Yeah. Oh. And then a big thing would come across the screen. It's like pig knitter beat the boss. <laughs> oh shit. It was actually um, because obviously you get the random loot and me and Eric are terrible with this. As soon as there's a random loot on the screen, we go for it. And we're just both, both of us are screaming, stuff! And just right. <laughs> Perhaps the best feature of that game was when we were playing the fighter and the cleric and they'd pop into a new screen. They just go, Hoo! Oh, yes. Yeah, because I played as the fighter and every now and again he likes to just be like, Look awful. how strong I am. <laughs> I like it's fun. That. <laughs> it was definitely a good game. It was a surprise. We were taken quite aback by it. We went in fully expecting it to be crap. I enjoyed it. I do like a good crap game. It's a lot like um, like Dragon crap. Crown that just came out not too long ago. Mm, I'm not For the that. PS3 no. Vita Dragon Crown. No, no. no. Look it up. It's <laughs> pretty similar. Maybe it's maybe it's the predecessor to it. Anything else this week, guys? I've played, I've played some... Crisis Core. Oh. No. Yes! Still. How far are you? I am at... Junon? I think. Okay. I had every Quite intention far. of playing Zach's that. just got his new haircut. Uh, I can't... I can not, not remember. Now I've got the Buster Sword. Oh, yeah. Such oh, yeah, a you're good pretty game, far. though. Fantastic. Yeah, High Score is amazing. I even started playing it on holiday just because I was listening to you guys talk about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to install that again. I have my PSP with me, so. I had every intention of playing through it again, but with Metal Gear and having to play through Chrono Trigger, it's just too much. Yeah, that's oh, hard. Chrono Trigger's fine. That's awesome as well. I'm trying to find the best version to play it on right now. I just, I don't really nice. necessarily want to hook up my Super Nintendo and be bound to that. Yes. I can't find a copy of it anywhere. Oh. Emulate it, you fool. But then I'd be bound to my computer, and at that point I may as well just hook up the SNES. <laughs> Do that. <sighs> it's too much work. You need to play Chrono Trigger. I mean, you've never played it before, right? I saw your tweet. No, I played, I've gotten up through fighting Luca's monster at the very beginning of the game, and that's it. 
Oh, you will see, love it. It's such see, a good RPG. I thought you played it, Eric. That's why I said to you yesterday, I was like, oh, how do you do that? How do you get past this bit? <laughs> no. No idea. Because I'm, stu- I'm stuck at the moment on it. No. Oh, know. it's got so much depth to it once you get into it properly. How long yeah. does it take, honestly? Ages. 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 25 hours? 27 yeah, hours? It depends if you're powering through it because it's got about yeah. 12 different endings or something. Oh, That's shit. true. So at any moment, like once you get uh, the airship kind of thing, you can go and fight the last boss. Yeah, Dan, I've I've just got to the end of time, and I don't know what to do. Like you have to, you can go between all the different time. Don't zones. spoil it for me. No, I'm not. I'm not. I just you know, you've, obviously you know it's about moving between times and stuff. Oh, is that why it's called Chrono? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you can do. You can, as you get later on in the game, you can jump between different times and things you do in the past have an effect on the future and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably just hook up the Super Nintendo and play it on that. Good good choice. Good choice. Jess, good what else choice. did you say you played? Um Harry Potter the Lego Harry Potter. I think it's the years five to seven. Yep. Mm. <laughs> it's a good time. Oh. Come on, Jess. <laughs> I half expected you to say uh, something about Harry Potter on the Game Boy again. No, but do you know what? Like, I am so excited because um, a bar opened in Toronto that is called the Lockhart. I think it's called the Lockhart, but it's a Harry Potter themed bar. And they have like a bunch of like character drinks and like it's not super like Harry Potter ish. So I can invite my friends and they might not realize it until it's too late and they're already there. And I'm really excited. <laughs> You're the worst kind of friend. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we have, um, uh, we don't have any emails, but we do have a suggestion for the random game generator. Oh, ho, ho. so Dan, do you have the random game generator open? No. Get it open. God damn it, Dan. Did you even do a PlayStation 1? No. <laughs> then how could I have it wait, open? Wait, maybe I did. Let's look. Let's have a look. Well, you've got the documents, so you look. Oh, sit on it. I'm pretty sure I did it. <laughs> we'll just wait. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next week, we are... This week, we need to start in on actual sunlight, because Will O'Neill is going to be joining yeah, us yeah, next yeah. week. All right, yeah. So Ew. that. Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. Here it is. I think I have a PlayStation. Yes, I do. Is it here? What is it? Did you want World? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wouldn't. I had right, the Google. I had the documents Let's filled. PlayStation games. So I'm on it. Don't this way. I think it's going to come out differently because I I compile my list differently than you. Uh, Do you randomize it completely like A to Z wise? I don't randomize it. I put it all into different documents. All right, here we go. What is Uh, what is it? P. It's P, and it's eighty two. Oh Jesus! How are we going to do that? (laughs) This is from Mike Vaness. Thank you, Mike. Okay, let me get the P's. Down this to. is really exciting to listen to right now. <laughs> Just shush. <laughs> you hush. You could fill it with witty banter. <laughs> I have to preserve my voice right now. P82. Are you ready? This Oh, this is going to be fun. This is an Enix game from 1999 called... Oh, apparently it's only Japanese. So this will be even better. Called <laughs> called <laughs> Poppin Tanks. Oh God! What? <laughs> oh, P O P apostrophe N tanks. We Tom, we were one number away from playing the Japanese Popo Lacroix. Oh, damn! Damn! I think you and I need to do a show on Popo Lacroix at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I. Yeah. Rolled the credits on Snatcher when I was away. Snatcher? Oh, God, this yeah. game looks awesome. You Pop guys, and look up Poppin' Tanks. P-O-P-I-N? P-O-P apostrophe N, tanks oh. exclamation point. Oh, you can get it in English. Can you? Yeah, Poppin' Tanks too. 
Well, we're not playing Pop and Tanks too. Oh, oh wait. Well, we'll have to be Japanese gosh. then. Oh man, looking sweet. It almost looks like is this the Bubble Bobble characters in there? <laughs> it's a Maybe picture there's... of a girl who's got wearing goggles on her head, which look like boobs. <laughs> Maybe there's a fan a fan translation somewhere. Boobs. All right, pop in tanks. Oh my god, they do totally look like boobs. <laughs> Metallic boob goggles. <laughs> the hell? Jesus. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, that'll be a good one. Uh, anything else this week? Nope. All right, so no. next week, pop in tanks and actual sunlight. Yeah. I'm going to be playing it on the Vita. Holy. Oh. Ooh. What are you guys going to play it on? Uh, actual sunlight you're playing on the Vita, not pop in tanks. Yes, actual sunlight. Okay. I play it on PC. I think I'm doing PC. Okay. What about you, Dan? PC? What's it on? I think it's on PS3 as well. Is, is it? it? Maybe, oh, no, no, no. He, it's it's on the PlayStation Store only for Vita. That's right. Oh, uh, okay. It's only like five oh. bucks. So I Dan, think I bought it on Steam. Yeah. Dan, you're going to need to invest a little bit of money for the show. Oh, dear. Think you can manage? No. What? <laughs> What's money? What? What? <laughs> <God>. So good. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for the show this week. Uh, Jess, where can we find you on Twitter? Uh, I am a Jess. Dan, where can we find you? At Frosted Sloth. Tom? At Hyperjelly. You can find me at Honest Pizza. If you want to send us an email or a suggestion next week, uh, factoryseal.manatank.com or pop over to our Facebook page and take a spin on the random game generator. We usually post that every Monday. Give us a console, a letter, and a number, and... Uh, who knows? You may give us the next great turd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited for someone to give us a nice great turd. I think Pop and Tanks is going to be a big turd. <laughs> it's got boob goggles. What more do you want? Boobs and turds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not going there. <laughs> all right, that's going to do it for this week. We'll see you all next week. Uh... This is like my personal hell. Just, just saying. <laughs> the worst thing I've ever heard. Eric, <laughs> please stop. <laughs> How does that happen? How do you make them so wet? You have a talent. <laughs> <laughs> that was one full lungs worth of fart. 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 Lungs worth of fart.